G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman here with 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to be looking at the epidermis. Um, so looking at the sublayers of the epidermis, which is this uh, layer on the outside of our skin, or the outermost layer of our skin. It's made up of epithelial tissue. So we'll talk about that uh, in the next three minutes. Let's go. So as I was saying, the uh, epidermis is the outer layer of stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. Um, this uh, section here, I'm using this one because it's a resin section, so the resolution of the um, cells that make up the different layers of the epidermis are really nice in this section. Um, and then we'll have a quick look, if time permits, to, at a, a normal sort of paraffin section, um, and then we can compare and contrast. So the um, Epidermis is made up predominantly of a cell type known as keratinocytes. These are cells which eventually form these dead ker keratin filled cells that eventually get shed from the surface. So they actually can subdivide the epidermis into four or five layers depending upon whether we're looking at thin or thick skin. Uh, this is a section of thick skin. We can several ways we can tell it's thick skin, but we'll do another video on that. But the largest of the ways, or the easiest of the ways, is to look at the thickness of the stratum corneum or the dead layer on the outside. Very, very thick here. So the innermost layer of the epidermis, which is sort of zoom in here, is this layer here. This is known as the stratum basal or the basal layer. It's one cell layer thick made up predominantly of keratinocytes. Um, and those keratinocytes often have um, uh, melanin granules associated with them and they are passed on via another cell type found within the strata basal known as the melanocytes. So here's an example of a melanocyte and then here's an example of a keratinocyte. You might see down the bottom here um, that the um, keratinocytes have this sort of interdigitation of their cytoplasm with the underlying uh, what would be the basement membrane here and that's a way to increase uh, surface area for contact so that it can resist abrasion. This is particularly important in thick skin because these are areas of high abrasion. So this is the stratum basal. The cells here undergo mitosis. One of those remains behind in the stratum basal and then they move up into the next layer and this is the largest of the layers and this is the stratum spinosum or the spiny layer. These cells you can see change in sort of appearance from this almost columnar appearance to a bit more uh, rounded in appearance. They have lots and lots of desmosomes which attach to adjacent keratinocytes by these little cytoplasmic bridges so that when we process for microscopy, everything sort of shrinks and those bridges are held together and so these cells appear spiky, which is why they're called the stratum spinosum. The next layer is the stratum granulosum, and you can see why that is. It's got all of these granules. These are keratohyaline granules, and these actually help to make the keratin that forms the dead cell layers on the outside. Now, because this is thick skin, we have a layer called the stratum lucidum, which is immediately above the stratum granulosum, and the stratum granulosum is the last of the three living layers. Then we have a dead layer, and then we have the stratum corneum on the outside. So that was a quick overview of the epidermis. Uh, hopefully there was a little bit of information there that you got some use out of, but we can focus a little bit more uh, on other areas uh, in our future video. So I hope you'll join us then. Huru!